Hello, Dane and Biggie here, and we're doing the introduction to this week's reading vlog. Alright, I'm very tired, a little bit hungover and a little bit sad today, but I'm doing alright mostly. I'm reading Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, which is very good so far, eerily close to home. Uh, flu virus hits New York City, a man has just stockpiled toilet paper. So, it's getting a bit real, folks. And I'm off to do some other shit, some editing and maybe some more filming, I don't know. Try not to die. Hello, 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 it is, what is it? Tuesday the 7th of April today, I forgot to go to the, um, what's name, I forgot to go to the post office today. So, well, I woke up late, so you know. Um, but I've been basically I've been filling my suitcase and I'm just gonna take the suitcase drop it off go for a walk and come back and pay at the end I guess my radio show should be on air in 20 minutes or so um, I haven't heard back from the lady who organizes it so I'm just assuming it's gonna be on been working hard today gonna do some filming gotta do some more of my tabs for station 11 a little bit of editing to do as well I've been enjoying this um, I'm just under 100 pages from the end now might finish it before bed we'll see I'm not sure and then I'm probably gonna read blind willow sleeping woman by Haruki Murakami mm, that's all I got for you really nothing else to say going a bit stir crazy to be honest oh yeah and our prime ministers in hospital he's got coronavirus Hello, I'm trying to edit my radio show, but it's going super slow. So there's that. Look how long my hair is as well. I'm going to have to cut it myself soon because no hairdressers. Uh, feeling a bit down at the moment, so I'm having a beer, as you do. I finished reading Station Eleven. It was very good. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5. And I'm now currently reading Blind Willow, Sleeping Woman by Haruki Murakami, which is a collection of short stories. And as with most collections of short stories, some are better than others, but so far, overall, I have been enjoying this. Oh, and I still haven't been to the post office. I'm probably going to stay up all night tonight and go first thing tomorrow and take a full suitcase full. But I have at least been making some money for selling stuff, you know? I'm from Ark Morpork. Can't I suppose to Oh, yeah, I'm listening to the uh, audiobook of Jingo by Terry Pratchett. Somewhere. I've got an hour and ten minutes to go, so I'll probably finish that tonight. And then I don't have any more audiobooks, so I'm going to get back to uh, Netflix. Also, I've been drinking a bit of beer, that's why the... Uh. I am watching Intervention. It's very sad because it's a reality TV show. They're actually going to stage an intervention on this woman. She was sexually abused as a child and now has this weird addiction where she can't swallow, so she chews food and spits it out. She spits saliva out. I've had a little bit of a shift around in here, so you can see now there's that cool glow from behind my thing. I've moved my sofa along. I used to have a bookcase there, um, but now my uh, freezer, I've moved the bookcase out basically. So I moved this bookcase out and then moved everything closer to me. I'll show you in a bit when it's tidier. It's a bit of a mess at the moment because I had my shopping come too. Uh, I, I finished reading the audiobook of Jingo by Terry Pratchett, so that was good. And um, now I'm just cracking on with Blind Willow Sleeping Woman by Haruki Murakami. I'm hoping within 24 to 48 hours I'll have finished that and that um, Ralph Ellison book. And also I have this, this is all the stuff I've got to post. And there's a pandemic on, it's going to be a fucking nightmare mate. Hi, my name is what? My name is who? My name is Wicka Wicky Biggie Cabaney. He's eating me shoes, what are you doing? Alright, it is Friday the 10th, Easter Friday. Good Friday, that's the one. Um, I've finished reading Murakami, Blind Woman, Sleep and Willow. I would give that like a 4 out of 5 maybe. And now I am reading Eating Animals by Jonathan Safran Fur. It's actually been on my uh, pile for a while now. And I'm down to 46 books currently reading. Big E. So um, I'm, <laughs> I'm starting to scrape the barrel a bit now. But yeah, I do want to get through this. As you can see, I've only really just started it. Probably won't finish it immediately. Imminently. Still need to go to the post office as well. I think I'm going to try and stay up all night and go tomorrow. Although I keep saying that. It opens at 8am. So, And then I also finished reading my bedtime book, which is Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison. Which basically, like... Um, it's an investigation of racism and race and colour in, you know, 1960s or so America. Own voices and all that stuff. Unfortunately, I found it incredibly dull. 
I do understand what it was trying to achieve though, and I mean, it was good enough for a modern classic, I guess. I just didn't really enjoy it, but I'm, I'm glad I've ticked it off, uh, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. Biggie's meowing at me at the moment because I can't be bothered to get up and open the porch door for him. Might do that later. I've been doing my housework and stuff as well. To be honest, I spent ages doing these fucking parcels because I've got like 60 or something to post tomorrow. It's ridiculous. I've now got a rucksack and a case full. And Biggie is nuzzling me. He's sitting on the pile. Aren't you, Biggie? Hello. I am watching the LA Beast play Super Mario World. And I'm sitting here in silence because while well, I'm trying to listen to my radio show um, and I've got to edit the audio a little bit, I have to boost it and then bring it back down again. I am watching a documentary called There's Something You Should Know, but, uh, well it's about Duran Duran, I guess it was a BBC documentary originally, but it's on Netflix. I quite like music documentaries, I prefer true crime to be fair. It is currently Tuesday the 14th of April, Ruination Day, it was the day Lincoln got shot, the Titanic sank, what else was there? Well there's a song by Gillian Welsh, Ruination Day, listen to that, it will tell you. It's currently quarter past three in the morning, my sleeping pattern's screwed. I woke up about half one this morning. Um, I've been trying to go to the post office all weekend and just there's all sorts of problems. It was also a bank holiday yesterday, so I finally found somewhere that was actually open, but it wasn't open. It was inside a shop basically and they weren't doing parcels. So that was annoying. So I'm going to try again today. I have now, I think, close to 150 things to post. So I need to do like multiple trips to the post office. I'm probably going to try and do two or three today and that will get rid of most of the backlog and then another like two tomorrow. Not ideal in the middle of a pandemic, but I am at least making quite a lot of money from selling books, um, including some of my own books. So that's good. What else have I got for you? I did a live stream on Sunday night. I, I didn't include any videos in this vlog of that because I put the camera right by the speaker very stupidly. So all you can hear is the guitar, you can't hear the vocals. But the stream I think sounded all right. At least nobody told me it didn't. Uh, so yes, so that's pretty much the life update. Other than that, I've just been being productive. In my writing, I have um, now got basically meat. My novel is with Pam, my editor. And now I have Scarlet Sins, which is a short story collection. That's ready to go over. I have Kiss Kiss Death Death, which is a poetry collection. That's ready to go over. And I'm working through uh, the Lexicologist Handbook, which is like a non-fiction reference book of weird and obscure words. So I'm working on that soon too. And then after that, my editing will be either my memoirs or Monsters of Rock, the two books, which I guess are like my latest ones. but. I don't know, neither of them are really ready for editing, but I will do my memoirs first. I think the coronavirus kind of thing is quite a good place to end it on anyway, because it's kind of like a defining moment, you know? So then I can release another one in 20 years or whatever. So yes. All right, I've finished the Duran Duran thing. Then I watched a three episode thing called The Seven Children of Queen Elizabeth or something. And now I've got Doctor Who on. As you can see, it is light outside. I've made it to the daytime. It is 8 a.m. Uh, so theoretically, the post office is now open, but I don't believe that it is. So I'm going to give it another hour or so, and then I'm going to trek over there. Hopefully, if it's open, I'm going to drop off a rucksack full of books, give the guy some money, and then be like, I'll be back in an hour. And then I'm going to walk back here, fill up my rucksack, go back again, and repeat that like three or four times. I might, I'll probably bring stuff back in my rucksack as well. Um, I don't know, I don't really need beers, which is usually what my go-to thing is when I need to fill up my rucksack. So I might stock up on like energy drinks and squash, get some juice and stuff. So we will see. So that's kind of the plan now. I've been doing some work as well. I'm still cracking on with the lexicologist handbook. It's an interesting one because I can directly see, oh sorry. It's an interesting one because I can directly see as I'm editing it, like how far I am because it's all alphabetical. So I'm up to hoodwink because it's definition. So this one is hoodwink to deceive someone with trickery, the example. I wouldn't be allowed out. Oh sorry, I knew I wouldn't be allowed out so I decided to hoodwink my parents into thinking I had a school trip to go to. So yes, um, in terms of books, I actually don't know where I, oh hang on, I've got it on my notes. So, I finished reading Eating Animals, which is over here. And here comes Biggie, he knows I'm talking about eating animals. Uh, there's a full review of this coming soon. I gave it like a 3.5 out of 5, it was okay. I don't particularly like Jonathan Safran for, or his writing style really. So, um, 
Yeah, although the subject matter was interesting and there was like a lot of studies in there and some facts that I didn't know and stuff. So really, I should have read it when I did first pick it up, which was back in the day when I was re researching my factory farming novel. It's set on a factory farm. And uh, so that's why I bought it. And then I never read it until after the novel was finished. And in hindsight, it would have been a good one to read, but oh well. And then, and then we have The Long Tail by Chris Anderson. So this is like a really influential business and marketing book. Basically the idea is that, um, I'm gonna find some, some shot charts to show you. It's like the internet has opened things up. So back in the day when you went to a bookshop, they could only show the 20, you know, the most popular books, the 20% of the most popular books or whatever. Um, and the rest you'd have to order in and stuff, but they didn't make much money doing that. And then the internet basically made it possible to track down all of these books. And this is like quite old now, the books. That's why it's talking about Rhapsody and it was talking about MySpace and stuff. The general idea is uh, still relevant today and it's a super influential book. So I gave it like a 3.5, maybe a 4 out of 5. It was good. I don't think I'd recommend it for the general reader, but if you're in marketing, check it out. And then I picked up The Robots of Dawn by Isaac Asimov. So this is what I'm currently reading. It's like a robot detective novel. I think it's like number three in the robot series. And um, I have read at least number one. I don't know if I've read number two, but you can read them as standalones as well. And I'm enjoying it so far. So yeah, that's all I've got for you. It's been a super short vlog this week, but uh, my last one was long, so hey ho. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of it. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.